everybody. Today's class is going to be a slow and steady flow. Pretty much straight up flow, nothing too funky. Um, I'm going to give a few options for leveling up if you'd like to do some arm balancing, hand standing, things like that. If you have a Dharma wheel, a yoga wheel, I'll be showing you guys um, how to use it for back bending for Viparita Dandasana. Um, just because that's the only way I can get into it. So if you've got one, grab it. If not, don't worry about it. Of course, you'll have options other than that. We'll start today's class in a comfortable seated position. Feeling your sits bones grounding down. Feeling the crown of your head rising up. And then we'll move into our grounding breath. So inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. And exhale out of your mouth. One more time, inhaling through your nose. And exhale out of your mouth. Coming to breathe just through your nose. If you haven't already, softening the gaze or closing your eyes. Palms face down if you're feeling any kind of anxiety. Palms can be up if you need a little energy. Continue to breathe. As you begin to pay attention to the breath, see if you can slow it down, taking twice as long to inhale and twice as long to exhale. Release your jaw, release your tongue. Moving into a three-part breath on your next inhale. Inhale into your belly and pause. Into your heart and pause. And then all the way up through the crown of your head. Take an extra sip at the top. And exhale into your heart. Through your belly down into the ground, rooting down, exhale all the air out. Inhale, belly, heart, up through the crown of your head, take an extra sip at the top, and then exhale, heart, belly, down, grounding everything out. One more time, inhale, belly, heart, up through the crown of your head, extra sip, and then out, heart, belly, ground everything out, feeling your root. Back to your normal pace of breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Bring our hands to heart center for an intention if you'd like to set your own. Mine will be working at 100%, paying attention to all of the details, resting as I need to. Taking one more inhale, exhale, bowing your head towards your hands. 
and then we'll open out into a Janu Shirshasana. So your right leg out at a 45 degree angle from your left. Remove any support you have under your sits bones. Starting with the side stretch. So we have starting 100% on this right leg. The left foot is pushing into your inner thigh. And then we take our right hand to the inside of our right leg, left arm to the sky. So if this is feeling really yummy, stay here, work on your heart opener. If you'd like to move into the side body, start reaching that left arm up and over your head. Keep your heart facing towards the center and come back to your breath. Notice if you're holding your jaw or your tongue, releasing any tension you may be experiencing there. And then placing your left hand down, moving your heart towards your knee so that you're in a twist. Take this left hand, sorry, right hand out to the side on your fingertips to help turn your body and start folding forward. Remember belly towards thigh instead of head towards shin. Find the extension through your spine. Sit back up. Open out your left leg, Upa Vista Konasana. Hands behind you to establish the length in your spine. Strong legs. If you have more flexibility, bringing your hands to the midline and start walking forward. Forearms to the ground. Head to the ground if you have that kind of opening. Otherwise, work where you are. It's how it feels, not how it looks. Come back to the breath. And walk your hands back up. Other side, bending the right leg in. Extend and strengthen the left leg. Left arm to the inside of your leg, right arm to the sky. Staying with your heart opener if that feels really great. Otherwise, side body opening. Finding where you need opening, where you need strength today. And then releasing your right arm down, turn towards your left leg. Coming up high onto the left fingertips to help you turn. And bringing your belly towards your thigh. Sitting back up, we'll come through Upavista Konasana another time. Gentle opening. And then bringing your hands forward if that feels good and starting to walk it out. Coming back towards center. We'll bring our legs together and come onto knees. Virasana. So if you cannot sit comfortably with your hips in between your heels, in a Varasana, you'll take some support. So gently opening the front of our hips here, our quadriceps. Try to have your toes pointing back and your hips hugged in, sorry, your heels hug, hugged in towards your hips. And then Gomukhasana arms, taking your arms out to a T. We'll bend the right arm first. Grabbing your elbow with your left fingertips, pushing up and back. Notice if when you do that, your lower back sticks out and your belly pooches forward. Tuck it all in, engage your core. Okay, if you'd like to bind, either take your strap in your right hand and reach for it, or swing your left arm around and try to touch fingertips, your shirt, whatever you can reach. This right elbow is still pointing up and back. And maybe if you have the opening in your shoulder, the back of your head can push into your right forearm to help open more. Okay. 
releasing, other side, left arm up, bend at the elbow, push up and back with your right fingertips. And then if you want to bind, swinging that right hand around, grabbing the strap or your fingertips, and then using the back of your head on your forearm to push up and back. Working where you are, but working with integrity. Let's release that. Coming to hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, cat and cow. On your next in inhale, dropping your belly, pulling your heart through your shoulders up, looking up to the sky. On your exhale, tuck your tail, belly towards spine, drop your head, push into those hands to spread your scapula. Again, inhaling, cow, create your sway back, stretch belly, and exhale, cat, stretching your back. Crease of the arms forward. Again, inhale last time. And exhale. Come back to a neutral spine. Bring your left hand to the center of your mat and inhale your right arm up to the sky for a twist. Exhaling, bringing your right arm under your left, right side of the head to your mat or a block coming up high onto your left fingertips, initiating the twist. Let your head go, so try not to hold any tension in the side of your neck. And then taking your left arm behind you, either to your sacrum or for a wrap. If you'd like to take it further, you step back onto the right foot, and then maybe left in balance. Rolling the left shoulder back and open. Release, coming back down. Placing your left hand down, inhale, right arm back up for your twist. And then place it back on the mat. Left arm up. Dive bomb under the right. Left shoulder to the mat. Reaching out, coming up high onto your right fingertips. Staying here or use that right hand wherever you like it on your sacrum wrapping, whatever's going to help open up this right shoulder. Stepping back onto the right foot, and then maybe lifting. Strong right leg, let your neck go. Find a stretch in your left shoulder. Release back. Come back to hands and knees, and then walk your hands forward for Anahatasana. Forehead to the mat or chin if you have the opening in your shoulders. Pushing up and back with your sits bones and use your palms. Get your elbows off the mat, strengthen through your hands. Walking your hands back in, set up for down dog, tuck toes, lift hips. If you'd like movement here, please take it. If you need some stillness, come back to the breath, plant your hands, plant your feet, does not matter if your heels are down or up, and find the length from your palms through your sits bones, shoulders away from ears, And then purposefully bend your knees to create more length in your spine. I like to rock my booty back and forth here, get some stretch through the side body. And then come back to your down dog. Let's floss our shoulders. Feet as wide as your mat. Hands grabbing the outsides of your mat, thumbs up, fingers down. Pulling the mat apart so that your forehead can come through a little bit more. back 
to your comfortable down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Grab opposite elbows for ragdoll. Keep your knees bent if that helps you access your hamstrings. Push deeply into your feet and find the connection between your heels and your sits bones. Walking your hands forward again, this time to plank. We'll lower chaturanga halfway down and then all the way onto your mat for our belly down back bends. Our first cobra will be pretty low, pushing your pelvis down, tops of the feet down, inhaling, low cobra. Just feeling where you are at the beginning of your practice today. And lower down. Maybe you can take it a little higher. Inhale up. And back down. If you like intimidation cobra, fingertips come out next to the shoulders. Inhaling up, straighten your elbows as much as you're able to. Bring your heart forward and maybe you look to the sky. Exhale back down. Up dog, fingertips at the center of your chest. Tuck toes, straighten elbows, hips off the mat. Tucking toes back, push the tops of your feet down. Again, squeezing shoulder blades back, present your chest forward. And down dog. Taking a little rest before we begin movement in our Surya Namaskars. One more inhale here. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels, float or step forward. And inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, push into your feet to lift all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Find that strong Tadasana, belly down to the feet. Engaging your legs, working at 100%. And I mean 100% integrity, not necessarily 100% of the movement. Coming back to your intention, take an inhale through the nose. Big sigh out through your mouth. Surya A, inhale, arms up over your head, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, float or step, plank, Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, full inhale. And exhale, down dog. A couple of breaths here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels. On no breath, float or step, feet between the hands. Inhaling, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Come all the way up, stretch it out. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, float or step, plank chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra or up dog. And back, down dog. Inhaling and exhaling, come back to the pace of your breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels. Float or step, feet between the hands, inhaling to lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Walk back just a little bit, we'll add Vakasana if you'd like. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Heel toe your feet out a little bit. Plant hands, bend elbows, and roll forward. Lifting one foot, maybe the other. 
Balance for a breath. And then exhaling, plank chaturanga, cobra up dog, and back to down dog. And I should say that when you go from bakasana to chaturanga, you don't go into plank. You shoot directly back into your bent arms. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels. Float or step, feet between the hands. Inhale, traction. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Stretch it out. Exhale, hands to heart center. Surya B variations. Inhale, Utkatasana. And just because I feel like I need it, let's do a twist. Hands to heart center, twist to the right. Look at your feet, look at your knees. Even it all out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist left. And you don't have to crank into your twist. Again, when we talk about working 100%, think about evening out your knees, finding the integrity of the posture. Tailbone back, head forward, long spine. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, plank chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Back to down dog. Step your right foot forward, left heel down. Warrior one, traditional Surya B. Exhale, plank chaturanga. Big inhale for cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right heel down, warrior one. Inhale up. Exhale, plank chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. And back to down dog. Stay with the pace of your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels. Float or step to the front. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, come to stand. We'll do it again, traditional. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, plank chaturanga, cobra or up dog, and down dog. Step the right foot forward, left heel down, inhale up. Exhale, plank chaturanga again, or down dog. Left foot forward, right heel down, inhale up, pull your belly in. Exhale, plank chaturanga, cobra or up dog, chest forward, back to down dog. Reestablish your breath. So I did say I wanted to rename my channel Sleeping Dog Yoga, and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's a wonderful pace of breath. My dog is over here snoring. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend knees, lift heels, float or step, feet between your hands. Inhale, traction your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, come to stand. Okay, last one, we'll add a little funk. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction. Exhale, plank chaturanga. Cobra up dog. And back to down dog. Right foot forward, left heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Okay, we're going to slow it down for a sec. If you'd like, taking kundanyasana one, hands to the inside of your leg. 
bending into your chaturanga, right leg shoots out, left leg lifts, hold, and then from here, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, take a breath, left foot forward, right heel down, inhale, warrior one, exhale, hands to the inside of your left foot, Walk the right foot back, bend your elbows, bend your left knee, maybe kick it out. Shoot back, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Inhale your right leg up, knee to chest, bring it through. Stay on the ball of the back foot and inhale up for crescent. Staying here, slowing it down. If your left front hip flexor is tight, you'll bend your left knee a little bit to square your hips forward. And then remembering our belly, pulling it in, tucking the tail so that you're not flaring your lower back, and then notice your shoulders. Since it's a level two, three, you may want to clasp, not clasp hands, but clap hands and look up, giving yourself a little upper back bend. And then hands to heart center, twist to the right. Staying here, or if you feel the need, we'll move into Kundanyasana too. Planting your hands down next to you, parallel, and facing the front of your mat. Heel toe your right foot over, bend your elbows, and roll so that you're on the outer edge of your right hip. Left leg back, lift or not. Come back to center. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, plank chaturanga. Cobra up dog. And back, down dog. Breathing here, knowing that any of the suggestions I'm making are optional. Working where you are and working with integrity. Step the left foot forward. Stay on the ball of the right foot and inhale up. Notice belly pooch. Notice shoulder tension and try to correct it. Hands clasped together above the head, maybe look up, upper back opening. And then hands through heart center, twist left. Staying here, opening out, binding if you like the bind, or hands next to your left foot, heel toe over, Bring your body weight forward as you balance the outside of your left thigh on your right arm. And then step back, inhaling up, crescent. Exhale, plank chaturanga, down dog, or child's pose. Come back to your breath wherever you are. Bring your feet together. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Stay here, trying to find that opening in your front right hip flexor, your front quad, maybe even into the psoas. Inhale, right leg up. Bring your knee into the chest and step through. Warrior one, inhale up to hold. Bending the front knee at 90, belly coming in. So we have that core engagement. Push strongly into the left heel. Sink deeper. Notice your shoulders. If you'd like, touch hands, look up.
and then straighten your front leg and take your hands to heart center. Pyramid. Inhale here, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold with a flat back. If your hands reach the ground, great. If not, take your block and use it to help find extension in your spine. One thing I really like to do here is to place my hand on my sacrum to give myself an adjustment to make sure that my hips are pretty level and even. Reaching the crown of your head forward. And then rounding down over the front knee. It's okay for your back to round here, focusing on the stretch in your right hamstring. Continue engaging your left leg. And then if you'd like to bind around the left leg, arms come around the outside of the right leg, outside of the left leg, and you clasp hands behind the left leg. Release your hands. Engage your spine, make it long again, and bend that front knee a little bit to help you come on up. Hands again to heart center. Bend the front knee and bring your pinkies to your front knee. And then step forward, warrior three. Keeping your hands at heart center or reaching them forward look forward and lift a little bit higher. So it's like Shalabhasana on that right leg. Planting your hands on the mat, continue lifting your left leg up for standing splits. If you have a handstand practice, you can hop up here, balance or take handstand kicks. Bend the front knee, step your left foot back, meet it with your right, plank chaturanga, cobra up dog, and back to down dog. Inhale your left leg up, bend your knee, open your hip. Finding a stretch through the front of your left hip. Even pressure on both hands. Inhale, left leg straight, step through, warrior one, right heel down, lift your arms. Touch hands, look up, pull your belly in, sink a little deeper with your front knee. Notice pressure on your back foot and intensify it, really grounding down through both feet here. and then straighten your front leg and fold forward, holding onto a block or hands to the mat, but extend through your spine, long spine. Again, self-adjustment if that helps you, finding your hips in space. One more. Inhale to extend and then exhale, fold forward. If you like, finding the bind behind the back of the right leg. Extend your spine again. Bend the front knee, come all the way up. Hands to heart center. Fold forward so your pinkies are touching your left knee. And then we'll push off with the back leg, coming to warrior three. Keeping hands at heart center or reaching forward. Remember, not rushing. 
finding the engagement in each posture, breath and body. Hands to the mat, forward fold, standing split to balance or kicking up, handstand, handstand kicks, your choice. One more inhale, exhale, step back, plank chaturanga, cobra up dog, and back, down dog rest. Inhale, right leg up, exhale, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Knee to chest, step through. Inhaling, warrior one. And then exhale, foot reset, warrior two. Sink in the front knee. Push into the outer rim of your back foot. Heel to arch alignment. Again, grounding down through both feet. And then pulling them slightly towards each other. So you're engaging all of those muscles in your legs. Bringing your inner lower hip towards your heel. <laughs> At some point, I will learn what the name of that bone is. Belly in, tuck your tail, extend through your arms. Extended side angle. Elbow to knee, shoulder away from your ear, left arm up and over. Okay, find that side body stretch. If you'd like to bind, you'll bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot and bend until your shoulder comes to the inside of your right knee. Left hand behind you for a half bind or clasp hands, use your strap, whatever you like for a full bind. Once you're here opening the left shoulder, opening the heart to the right side, sorry, left side, and look up. Release your hands to the inside of your right foot. Stepping back or Kundinyasana 1 to Chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. Other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open hip. Inhale, extend, three-legged dog. Knee to chest, step through, and inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Deep bend in the front knee, strong legs, strong feet. Extending the arms out. So if you feel like you're not getting enough engagement through your arms, flex your hands, bend your elbows so that your shoulders come back towards your spine, and then push the walls away from you and then flatten your hands out, reaching. Belly in, strong legs, take an inhale. Exhale, left forearm to the thigh or the floor. Right arm up, turn the palm forward, reach the right arm up and over your ear, turning your chest towards the right. Half bind or full bind, right hand behind your back, rolling the right shoulder back, Reach under for the strap or your fingers. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the inside of your left foot. Moving through Kundinyasana or Plank Chaturanga, Cobra Up Dog, back to Down Dog. Okay, adding on from there, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, right leg up. Knee to chest, step through, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, foot reset, open hips, warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle with a bind or not. 
If you don't have the bind, you'll place your hand, your right hand on a block. And then we're working into bound triangle. Okay, a lot of shoulder opening, hamstring opening required for this. And then you want to make sure you can tilt your chest towards the left, hugging the right hip in and rolling your left shoulder back. Release the bind if you have it. Extend left arm high for Trikonasana. And then hands to the mat, vinyasa, or down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open your hip. Inhale, left leg up. Knee to chest, step through. Inhaling, warrior one. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Take a bind if you like. If you're not taking the bind, you'll work with your traditional extended side angle, Trikonasana. From here, extend the left leg long. Keeping your bind, or if it becomes too much on that left hamstring, releasing right arm to the sky. One more inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands down. Plank Chaturanga or Down Dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, open your hip. So we're building on. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Take an inhale here to establish your legs. Exhale, coming back into extended side angle or the bind. Let's see how my body's doing today, if I can do this. So from here, you'll either step up into Ardha Chandrasana with your arms open, or step the left foot forward, lift the left leg, and work into Ardha Chandrasana with the bind. Whoa. And the balance, which is always a challenge. So if you fall out, again, focus eyes, move with intention, slow and steady, and lift. Okay, not happening for me today. So, Ardha Chandrasana, which is where we'll all meet anyway. If you'd like, Ardha Chandra Chapasana, then the top leg, and kick back. Extend back out. Gentle step back. Warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, vinyasa, down dog, or child's pose. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step through, and inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle, binding if you like. You know where we're going on this side. So trying it with the bind or without. Okay, inhale. Looking down, find a point to focus your eyes. Moving slowly, don't forget to breathe. Stepping up, Ardha Chandrasana or bound Ardha Chandrasana. And then when you're done, left hand down, right arm up, Ardha Chandra. Bend the top knee if you'd like for Ardha Chandra Chapasana.
Extend back out. Gentle step back. Warrior two. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, pinwell the arms. Vinyasa, down dog or child's pose. Resting. Great job, guys. That's it for the standing sequence. So you can wipe the sweat off your brow. Come back to maybe a slower breath. Okay, moving into a very short dolphin. So depending on your hamstrings, the way we work into this is to actually come into a long um, Uttanasana, so a long forward fold. Bending your knees, feet hip distance apart. And then you start lowering your forearms to the mat. So you'll see my knees are bent quite a bit here. You can clasp hands if that's your preference or palms to the mat. And then you start to straighten your legs so that you have this much shorter dolphin stance that helps open and strengthen our shoulders for pinch to Mayarasana. Engage your legs, right? Kneecaps are lifted, thighs are engaged. And then come down, kneeling. Whew. Ready to go upside down? Yeah, let's do it. So upside down options. Since we just prepped for pinch to Mayarasana, Let's start by putting your mat against a wall, if possible. If you don't have a wall at home, you can use your bed and place your feet on top of your bed or a counter, whatever you have. So I'll take my mat to the wall. And we'll start with half pinch to Mayarasana, half handstand. So taking your feet to the wall, Knees are a little forward of the hips, so we have a shorter stance here. That helps get our hips over our shoulders. Bring your elbows down so they're under your shoulders. And you can clasp hands if that helps give you stability or palms down. And then lift hips. Step one foot up, the other foot up, and then start straightening your legs so that your hips can come over your shoulders. And my shoulders are pretty tight today. So I'm gonna have to keep my knees bent a little bit. Trying to get three to five breaths. It's a very strong pose. And then come back down, kneeling. Recenter. And then we'll move into half handstand, or some people call it um, down dog at the wall. Same setup. So the knees are a little forward of your hips so that you can get your hips over your shoulders. Hands under your shoulders. Same thing. Straighten your legs, pushing into your hands. Step one foot up and the other foot up. I like to look down for balance. If you're more advanced, you could probably look at the wall. Take your feet as wide as you need to, pull your belly in. And then when you're done, come on down. Okay, staying with that version, or if you'd like to work Pinchna at the wall or in the center of the room, if that's part of your practice, go for it. Taking five breaths in Pinchna Mayarasana, and then we'll move into handstand. Setting up. Elbows under shoulders, and then this is a lovely angle. Hands forward. Lift your hips so you're in dolphin. Walk your feet in and kick up. Okay, if you're able to pull those legs together, use your core. And then come on down. If you can stay for longer, stay for longer. Rest. Okay, handstand at the wall. Taking half handstand or full. 
placing your hands, shoulder distance apart, lift into down dog, walk your feet in. I like to look at the mat, kicking up with one side or the other, pull your legs together, engage your core, stay for as long as you're able to. And when you're done, kneeling again, find your breath. Good job, guys. Child's pose. Wide leg. Knees apart, toes together. Sitting back up. We'll come back to Varasana Hero Pose. Knees apart, knees together, heels apart, sitting back down. Remember, use your block as needed. So we'll hang out here, re-stretching the front of our hips, the front of our quads. Very important for back bends. And then if you have it available in your practice, you'll come back. Either onto your forearms, or laying all the way down. Now, if you're on a block, you're not going to want to do this part. So if you're on a block, take your Gomukhasana arms again to stretch your shoulders. If you're not on a block and want to lean back, you can come back as far as your hips and knees will allow. Remember, there's no such thing as a knee stretch. So if you're experiencing pain in the knees, come out of this. Pay attention. From here, you'll un- Ravel your left foot, okay? So you're in half Varasana. And then take your heel to the very bottom of your quad, above your knee, and push down, okay? If you're all the way down, you're gonna get a deeper stretch here. It's natural for your lumbar spine to have some curve here. You just wanna make sure you're not overextending and feeling um, any kind of tension there. And then release. So to go to the other side, you actually take this right foot out, roll onto your right side, and tuck your left foot back. So now we're in half Varasana on the left side, taking the heel of your left right foot to the very bottom of your quad. You're in, I believe it's the insertion point with your quad and your knee. Pushing down with your heel to get that tension, to get the opening there, create a little more tension to help you. And then release, both feet to the floor. Okay, if you're totally cooked, well done. You'll take your block, place it under your sacrum, and hang out in supported bridge. Oh, that feels so good. But I have to show you guys the other stuff. So, staying here. If this feels great, if you have lower back tenderness, I recommend staying here at whatever height helps release your lower back. Otherwise, feet hip distance apart, fingertips just brush the heels, tuck your shoulders under, and lift into a bridge pose. If it helps you find shoulder opening, interlace your fingers under your back, walk your shoulders a little further under, and then think about pushing your sternum towards your chin. Okay, instead of lifting hips to the sky, sternum towards chin. Your body weight's coming up towards your shoulders. Lift your chin a little bit to release your cervical spine. And maybe lift your toes to help push your whole foot down. All four corners of your foot. And then gentle release down, upper back, mid back, lower back, supta baddha konasana, feet together, knees apart, one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Okay, staying with bridge or moving into bird vidanarasana. 
for my back and shoulder situation, which is tight, I take my feet as wide as my mat and my hands as wide as my mat. Well, not quite as wide, a little bit outside of my shoulders. Coming up into bridge first. Okay, so you're still, you have that weight on your shoulders and then flip your head under. From the top of your head, pushing up into Urdhva Dhanurasana. And working on, I don't know, five breaths or so. Coming down gently, upper back, mid back, lower back. Sukta Baddha Konasana again. Okay, so I'm going to show you Viparita Dandasana on my yoga wheel because that's the only way I can do it. If you can do Viparita Dandasana, go ahead. If you want to stay with Urdhva Dandurasana or bridge or splat it out and just rest, feel free. So with your yoga wheel, you come to your upper back and make your reverse tabletop. And then tilt your head back. Taking your arms above your head. This is a wonderful stretch if you want to just stay here or grabbing onto your yoga wheel. Lock your hands down as much as you're able to. And then roll, roll, roll until your forearms reach the ground. Okay, pushing into your forearms, lift your hips and see if you can get your head off of the ground. So five breaths, releasing, rolling yourself back down. Remove your wheel if you used it, lie onto your back. Little bit of core work to fully release the lower back, pulling from the inside. So we'll do some very slow forest style yoga bike, taking your hands behind your head elbows out to the side to start just because it feels really good. Knees above the hips. Push your lower back down and you may just stay here if this is plenty. Take an inhale. On your exhale make a hammock out of your arms and bring your elbows up. Inhale. Lift your hips on no breath. Exhale. Right leg straight. Elbows to the left knee. Pull your belly down. Inhale, back to center. Lift your hips. Exhale, elbows to right knee. Pull your belly down. Inhale, center. On no breath, lift hips. Exhale, elbows to left knee. Right leg at about 45 degrees. Pull your belly down. Inhale, center. Lift hips. Exhale, elbows to right knee. Pull belly down. Inhale, center. One more each side. Lift hips. Exhale, elbows to left knee or not. Pull belly down. Come back. Lift hips. Elbows to right. Extend left leg. Come back to center. Place your feet on the ground. Hand on, uh, head on the ground. Elbows open out to the side. Just a little bit more core. Hands, palms face down under your butt. So we'll support our lower back here. Legs to the sky. Shoulders tucking back so you have that support. The straight spine, open chest. You'll either do one leg at a time, lowering your leg, leg lifts, or both. Exhale down. Inhale back up. Nice and slow. Exhale. Inhale up. Now keep your lower back down as you do this. Exhale. Inhale back up. Exhale. Inhale up. I lost count. Let's do one more. Inhale up. And then keep your right leg up. Extend your left leg long on the mat. Grabbing on somewhere the back of your right leg or your right big toe. Supta Padagustasana. Lift your head, chest, and shoulders up so you've got your core engaged. Left hand to left leg, still engaged with this left leg. 
and then pulling the right leg back with you as you lie down. Hamstring stretch, lower back release. Bending your right knee, take your right knee with your left hand, right arm out to the side for wind relieving posture. Bring your right knee over to the left, setting it on the ground or on a block. Now, if your right shoulder bothers you in this extended position, take your hand to your right rib cage. Roll onto your back. Extend both legs to the sky. Lower your right leg down. Grab onto the back of your left leg. Lift your head, chest, and shoulders up. And then bring your leg with you as you lie down. Find an extension through the back of your left leg. Right leg is strong. Bending your left knee, you'll reach across with your right hand to the outer left leg and pull it across your body over to the right side. Left leg, left, out, left arm out to the side or left hand to your left rib cage. Come back to center, happy baby. Knees to the outside of your torso, reach inside for your arches, and then push your knees down towards the floor. Your hips stay on the mat, so your sacrum is on the mat, long spine. Find the connection and the grounding there. And then if it feels good to you, extend one leg into half straddle. And then the other leg. And then maybe both legs. Come back to center, give yourself a hug. And then splat it out. Shavasana. Letting everything go, feeling that grounding with your back body and the ground. Releasing any control over the breath, the body, the mind. Full relaxation, complete stillness. Staying here for as long as you like, or if you'd like to close class with me, we'll come back up to a comfortable seated position. Bringing your hands to heart center. We'll inhale through the nose and exhale through your mouth. Twice more, grounding, centering breath. Inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. Again, inhale and exhale. Before we close class, coming back to your intention, See if you can utilize the integrity that you've cultivated on your mat today as you move through your life. I'll take an inhale here. Exhale, bowing your head towards your hands, locking in practice for today. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.